to the channel. It's been probably a hot minute since I posted. I probably posted since the last time I posted was February. I was supposed to post a vlog the other day, but um, things didn't go well, so I didn't end up posting it or even filming it. Um, but I am back. Hopefully, uh, it's not temporary again. Um, but I'm probably going to make a video talking about where I've been and what I've been up to. Um, but today's video is mainly about my updated makeup look, um, how I do my makeup now, because things been transforming, honestly, and uh, just a little, probably a small chit chat, um, but it's mainly about how I do my makeup now. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, comment down below what other videos you guys might want me to make. Um, give me some ideas and if you guys still haven't followed my social medias it is all down below in the description box I'm mainly on tiktok um, at underscore solar matrix underscore and yeah let's get on with so first things first we got prime and I've been using this for like probably a year now um, not even a year but I'm using elf luminous putty primer and I think they made a jumbo one now but of course we're gonna prime this is my go-to primer because it gives like this shimmer um of course i already moisturized and uh put sunscreen on um if you guys want like a skincare and makeup get ready with me uh one day comment down below because i might do that actually um because i really do things like that so we're just gonna apply like a good amount uh, I want to put like a lot to make sure that I have enough. Why is people? Why are people beeping today? Um, I want to make sure I have enough for my entire face and also for my eyes. And you're just gonna apply this, and it gives like a sh like a highlight look already. And so this is why I don't really wear highlight anymore like highlighters because the putty primer already have this like shine to it so now we're just gonna let this dry remember your neck but i'm gonna let this dry um for like 30 seconds and while that's drying we're gonna apply on this my go-to chapstick is carmex and it's like my holy grail because but if you have dry lips um this helps recover it a lot and makes your lips smooth and soft. <laughs> um, because I think it's like there's medicine, like kind of like medicine feeling in there. So if you guys ever wonder what type of chapstick I use, is this. Um, I usually do a lot of get ready with me on my TikTok as well. So if you guys ever want to check those out. Um, I have like I think a whole playlist on my account so <laughs> you guys can check those out right there um so now we're gonna use my all-time favorite elf a lot of these products are affordable so if you guys ever want to like try any of these um they're affordable you can find them at like Target or CVS or Walgreens uh, I think even Rite Aid um but this is the elf hydrating camel concealer satin finish and this is in the shade fair warm um, I try to find like a light color, but I don't want it to like look a bit pale. I'm pale already in real life. Like if you ever see me in person, I'm really, pale. I'm like pale. Um, but because of summer, I kind of got tan a little bit, but we're just going to put like three dots here and then a glob and then right here for any like darkness or redness and then sometimes like putting it in the middle just so like um it kind of constructs a little bit i don't know if that made sense but now i've been breaking out recently a lot so i kind of have like pimples here and there but you're still perfect no matter what so don't let other people tell you otherwise. And we're just going to put some on the eyelids because it's going to prep us for our eyeshadows. Um, 
now I tend to let it like sit for a bit. So I like to do this. I don't think anyone else does this, but I'm gonna spray uh, this the uh, dewy coconut setting mist from Elf. A lot of these, like I said, are affordable, and I'm gonna spray a little bit on my beauty blender. Um, I should change my beauty blender. <laughs> um, so so after that sits for a bit. We're just going to start blending. And I've been doing this a lot recently is starting with concealer first and then going on to my foundation and um, everything else because I don't know, I feel like when you do concealer first you're already covering like majority of what you need to cover okay i think i need to get, take this out somehow um but i feel like when you do concealer first you already have your base and um you're you're covering everything you need to cover you're covering everything you need to cover already um so when you put the foundation on it's just like more of like a finishing thing so you cover whatever you need to cover and then you add on your foundation and the foundation i'm actually going to be using it i have two types of foundation that i use one is a wen wild one and then there's this maybelline uh, new york one which this is more of a, like a bb cream um the thing i like about this is that if you're going for a natural look i would say use this because it gives like more of like a light sheer cover uh oh i wanted to show off my nails like this is so pretty and I think this is like the most extra thing I ever done. Um, but I went for green this year for school um, because I feel like green has been my lucky color so far. So we're going to take that much. Use your beauty, beauty, <laughs> Use your beauty blender and just like applied it to the face you can use your fingers um when i was younger i used to use my fingers before i even knew what a beauty blender was honestly and i'm just gonna dab the rest on my hand uh because to get all like the access and i've been doing this a lot recently but this is my foundation brush i need to clean it as you can see um, I do need to clean I need to clean a lot of my brushes but this is the Wet n Wild this is the P55 and I think I threw away the box already but this is a foundation brush and I've been using this to like spread out the foundation on my face evenly and you want to go in like a more circular motion I'll give like a little bit of um a story time not really a story time but like an update of where I've been um while I'm blending this out so we're gonna take the beauty blender now and just gonna blend it out um but I might be doing a couple story times uh soon enough because a lot of things has been happening um this summer mainly around these like two three months and i think it's something that needs to be talked about especially in this time of crisis um and honestly i think like the world's gone mad <laughs> um i encounter a lot of people who i am honestly like pissed off and like terrified of now so i might do a story time for that and explain I don't know if I want to do the story time like one by one and have like each individual one or should I just put all of them in one video uh comment down below which one you guys would want if you guys want me to tell the story like one by one so each story has their own video or would you guys like me to just tell them all in one uh video but that is going to be coming up soon um I start when this video is uploaded I'm already starting school um 
I might do a school vlog. I might do... I have like a lot of ideas so far and I might do like um, a, what I wear to school for a week. So a lot of videos ideas coming up. So I'm going to take the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. Now this is in the shade 105. It's like Fear Ivory. And I have another one but I'm just going <laughs> to finish this off real quick. So I'm going to take my brush. This is like my favorite brush. This is like my all-time favorite brush. And you're just going to put it where like you don't want any shine on there. I do have setting powder, but this is like my everyday look. I haven't worn makeup every day recently, so. Just going to put it on the eyelid to prep for your eyeshadow. And <laughs> Another announcement is that I've been I streamed on Twitch like two three times now. Um, I plan on doing it again after I figure out the software <laughs> um, because currently my computer runs very slow and I don't know if it's going to be able to run the software. So I will be streaming again, but just not now at the moment until I figure everything out. Maybe during winter break, I might stream on Twitch again. So if you guys haven't followed me on Twitch either, or if you guys never knew I had a Twitch, it will be down below in the description box as well. We have our base done. We are now going to uh, do our eyebrows. And my eyebrow routine is very simple. So this is, again, affordable stuff. I've been using e.l.f. for like a while now. Um, this is the e.l.f. Instant Lift brow pencil and I think this is in the shade tope I think that's how you pronounce it um but what we're going to do right now is you're going to t you can use this the spoolie or you guys can just use a brush I like using the brush better and we're actually going to brush our eyebrows hair like upwards so we can get our natural shape And we're not carving my eyebrows. You can carve if you want, but I don't carve because like my eyebrows are already like at a perfect shape that I want it. And now we're gonna take this. So this is like the color. It's like because I'm blonde, I don't want my eyebrows to be like so dark. So this is like the lightest color I can find at my local target so far so you're just going in the front go like an upward motion you just go like up oh that was not what I wanted you're just gonna go up and then slowly as you like go towards here you're just gonna keep following your shape I don't really have to go up as much because um, the front part here is a bit different from this side so I really just have to like swipe and then that's it I like to comb it a little bit just to give it a bit more shape instead of carving so I just like to go side go to the side with the eyebrows to like lay it down And that's basically I always like this eyebrow better than this side, but it's fine. It's totally fine. So now we're going to do the eye look. So the eye look is very simple and we're gonna actually use uh this is the absolute New York. Um this is the icon bronze summer eyeshadow palette. I broke the mirror. So <laughs> yeah um the mirror is broken so that's why like i'm gonna use the mirror separately but this is what the palette looks like i've been using a lot of this color and sometimes i use the other colors um but as my everyday use i use either 
this color sometimes or I would use this color sometime depending on like my mood so every day I would use this color this is called road trip um, I use road trip and sometimes starry night on like the inner corners of my eye but we're gonna be taking road trip and we're just gonna apply it onto our eyelids in a padding motion first so you can get like all of the um, product onto your eyelid so from here actually um, you can use another color if you guys want, um, but I usually keep it down to like two to three colors, but because this is not that bad, I uh, might just go in with a light color in the, in the corners and then call it a day. Um, this is what the eye look like. I don't think I can zoom in. No, I can't. Um, but this is what the eyes look like and basically like i said uh, you got a foundation of what your eye is going to look like this like i said this is like a more of like an everyday look than a normal look um but you can put like a darker color out here uh, and make it more fancy tight more outgoing look but this is something I do every day and I sometimes don't have time to do every day. So that's why I'm just going to go with this look. Um, next, I'm going to be taking, this is like a flat brush from White and Wild. And I'm going to take Road Trip again. And we're going to put it on our bottom lashes. I just stabbed myself in the eye. But we're going to take we're going to take a road trip and you can take the same color you can take a different color and just gonna connect it here put on the bottom lashes and kind of like brush it out into the middle and then i don't know where my eyeshadow brush cleaners are I don't. Really, I really don't know where is it at. I, it just disappeared out of nowhere. So we're gonna just take the same brush, and we're gonna go in with Sand Castles, which is this color right here, this beautiful color, and we're gonna put it into the inner corners of our eyes. You can use like a shimmery white color. Um, it's just to make your eye pop a bit more. See the difference? It's just to make your eye pop a little bit more. It's like something simple to do and like you don't have to do a lot. So that's all you really got to do. And you can add as much as you want, as little as you want. Um, I tend to add like a medium amount, like this much, and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So now, we're going to do our wings. A wing look, um, I've been trying to do my wings like without tape recently, but I'm going to be using the expert script. Liquid I never look at the name of this, so this is my first time even looking at it. Um, this from Absolute New York, and I need to buy my Rare Beauty eyeliner again. The eyeliner I would ever recommend is literally from Rare Beauty. If you guys are even starting with like makeup, so we're just gonna take um, our eyeliner, and you can do a thick eyeliner or you can do a small one. It's up to you. But
but this is the eyeliner look um i think it's not that bad actually but if you guys want to clean it up um i stopped using makeup wipes but now i'm getting back into them just because of the eyeliner uh i might do a get ready with me to show how i wipe off my makeup one day but you're if you guys want like a sharper look you guys can get a probably like a angle brush and like put it in the makeup remover liquid liquid um i can't take this out but you guys can clean this up um if you guys would want with like um, makeup remover and a brush but I don't have that brush so I'm gonna use a makeup remover wipe and you just want to like clean it a bit where you don't like like it as much like the imperfections so there we go okay that's not perfect but it's fine um, but I am sticking with short i guess yeah i'm gonna stick with short because this is the everyday makeup look and i usually don't do like a crazy eye look when i do my makeup every day because there's no reason for that um now we're gonna move on to mascara this is from estee lauder's and this is the sumptuous extreme lash multiplying volume mascara and this again is from Estee Lauder's. Um, I don't know if they actually sell these because I got this as a Christmas gift. And we're just gonna, you know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can wear falsies if you like, but I am not going to be wearing falsies because um, I don't really wear them. So, um, but like I said, if that's what you prefer, you prefer falsies, then go right ahead. Um, next, we're going to take, this is from Lancome, I think, or Lord Lancome, I'm pretty sure. Um, but this is the Blush Subtle Shimmer. And this is in Shimmer Mocha Havana. And it's such a beautiful shade. There is a small brush here as well. But I'm going to be taking this brush right here. You just want to go in a little bit. And this is like kind of what the shade looks like. But we're going to tap all the excess. And just, um, I like to do like dabbing motions first. And then that's when I start to swipe up a little bit. And this is like such a pretty color because it kind of gives you like definition to your face but also um it's not like crazy pink i don't understand why cars are beeping so much today today's just not a good day i guess so now I'm just going to take a little bit more and I'm going to go in the middle to my nose just to give like that rosy like I don't know it's like a cute look I guess and you don't really see it that much and like on camera I feel like you don't see it that much but in person it's, you kind of, kind of can see it so now to the second second to last step is lipstick um i did put carmax on earlier but that's there for you know um to not let your lips be dry but i usually use either this from wet and wild uh cloud pout uh it's a marshmallow lip mousse and this is in the shade uh marge to my mellow it's like this color and then there's this color this is um from the face shop which is the korean uh, skincare beauty shop um, and this is an ink tattoo lip tint and this is in the shade burgundy punch and that's what it looks like so usually I go back and forth between these two shades and I think I'll swatch them for you guys as well 
but I usually go between these two shades. I guess it depends on my mood as well. And they're both pretty dark shades, so I tend to, so these are the two shades. This is the Burgundy Punch, and then this is the Marsh to my Mellow from Wen Wow, and this is from the Face Shop. Um I might go with this just because I feel I don't feel like wearing red today. And then you just want to take your finger and just like blend it out. So it gives you like kind of like a pouty look. Um, but it's like an illusion. Basically. But this look is not bad. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done makeup for like actually the last time I did makeup was literally like a couple days ago for a TikTok so I'm lying to myself now um but now we're just gonna take the setting mist that I used earlier and just set your face this might be broken but sometimes I like to take it on my beauty blender and like okay this is hilarious right now but I like to like go in a little bit for myself. This is what I do. I don't think any other uh, makeup influencer would do this. So this is the look that we got. Um, this is basically what I wear majority of the time now for like 2022. It might change in 2023. Um, I think your makeup transform as you get older you don't really like do the crazy looks that much anymore sometimes or you do um but this is what you sometimes will see on my tiktok a lot when i don't feel like doing makeup um and this is like my everyday look a little bit like a shimmery kind of rose gold look with um either a red or pink lip and yeah um this is actually the, the first time I did my eyeliner on camera um, without tape. Before, I used to use tape because my hand would shake a lot. And that's like one of the things I hate about doing eyeliner. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will be posting more videos soon enough. Um, but if you guys ever want to see more content of me, I will be on TikTok a lot. Um, and everything will be down below in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Um, I hope some of my tips kind of help you guys out. Um, and maybe maybe some of you guys might uh, follow this or maybe for like beginners. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. And I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their summer because summer is over. And I hope you guys enjoy your new school semester and i'll see you guys next time Just